So let's take the three racing winch out of the package and have a look at it. Perfect, just what we needed. So one of the first things I thought I'd do is actually restring this three racing winch that we have. Uh, the string that comes with it is pretty good, but I'd like to have a heavier duty cable. So this is going to be easy enough. You don't have to hook it up to your controller or anything quite yet. Just those saddle packs that I mentioned earlier, they already have a Dean's plug on them. I'm just going to plug them straight in. Since there's a separate controller right on the winch, located here, with this power source, you're easily going to be able to turn it on and start extracting the rope. Now the three control mechanism, it's quite easy if you wanted to stop it, you just push that button again. Okay. And if you start it again, it'll start to retract. Stop, start to pull it out, stop, retract. So we're going to take off all the string, I'm going to start to wind it with this cable. Okay, one of the things I thought I'd mention is the tools that you're going to need for this, if you're going to uh, put in new cable, of course, is a Phillips small uh, screwdriver, a two millimeter hex wrench, and right inside, you can see there's a couple of holes on the, on the uh, spool. You want to back off uh, the internal one that's going to release the spool. You're going to unzip these side screws and on the bottom plate too. That will come across or come off. The end of it will also slide off. And since you've already undone the spool, that comes off. Now the spool actually has that second hole in there. Take your two millimeters hex wrench. <clears throat> this is where the, the cable is actually kept taut. Back it off. It's just that simple. Pull that cable out, the old thread. Now you can use this thread. There we go. It's that simple. Make sure that it doesn't have any pulls or ties in it. You want to be nice and smooth when you go to load up that winch. Okay. <clears throat> simple. Just repeat. There, once you have it in the spool, tighten it up. Not too much though, you don't want to strip that uh, two mil hex uh, key. It's in there nice and taut though. I'm going to simply put it back onto the spooler of the um, of the winch. Make sure that you have the flat spot lined up with that other two millimeter uh, hex, uh, hex, hex screw is what I'm trying to say. Tighten that up so the spool is on there nice and tight. Good, that's not going anywhere. Time to put the assembly back together. Notice there's a bearing inside, so ensure that that's still there or your winch won't be operational for very long. Now remember, when you use this, you're going to have to run your line through the end again before you spool it. I guess I could have done it after I spooled it. That's no big deal, just personal preference, I guess. So I know it's nice and straight, going through the feeder. There we go. Perfect. Now I line it up on the bottom. Now some people like to wait to the end, but now that everything's spooled through and put together, this is when I'd like to put my hook on. Use a fairly large hook. Um, you know, you can pick up hooks anywhere at your local hardware store or whatnot. Um, I like to do a fisherman's knot, or what I would call a fisherman's knot. It's really simple. You just make a loop. This is going to be a really, really strong knot. You make a loop, and you twist the one cable around the other one, like so. Meanwhile, still holding the loop. Here, I'll make sure you can see that. Still holding a loop back here, twisted, as you can see. Let's get closer so you can see more. 
So there's the loop. I hold that loop open and I just twist that around minimum five times. Now that it's all twisted, I take that string, mm -hmm, whoop, string at the end, and I actually put it through that loop. Yeah, I know you can see that, so that's perfect. Okay, and then while holding down the, the, the hook, I'll start to string this knot down and just push all those loops together and just see what's happening there. Uh, there, kind of, it's hard to focus, so I'll just show you there. As you start to pull, that tightens up. You move it down, you pull it tauter, you move it down, you pull it tauter, and soon, focus, focus, you end up with that. Perfect. Look at that. So that's a really tight knot, and the harder it gets pulled, the tighter that knot's going to get, so it's not going to be coming off when you're in the middle of a trail. Okay, forget the knot. Let's move back to everything's assembled here. I'm going to want to re winch that cable, so I'm going to start with the controller. As soon as I push, it's going to start to pull it back in, and I'm going to feed it back and forth. So, really simple, put a little bit of pressure on it because I don't want a, a loose line. I'm just going to start feeding it back and forth, just like so. And coming up to the end, there we go. So, now that it's all nice and tight, I've got eight feet of line on there actually. In scale realism, that's going to be more than enough out on the trail. So I want to cut off my extra little bit there, and uh, let's just get that done. Nice sharp razor blade, and you got yourself a winch, and a really tight line, strong, and uh, a hook on the end.